Hey everybody, um, this may not be the most interesting video that I've posted. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling pretty rough tonight. Um, but I did say I was gonna try and post about one a week, so I'm gonna try and stick to that and do what I can. So, mostly today I wanted to tell y'all about some stuff that you can do maybe to help others during the holiday season. So I posted my last video and talked about how um, if you're feeling down or something, you know, make a list of things that are positive. Make a list of things that are good in your life and that you're thankful for. Because it was Thanksgiving. Um, this year, I'm going to participate in a um, holiday card drive. If you haven't heard of The Mighty, The Mighty is um, a website slash organization that posts different topics on health-related issues. They post about autism, uh, diabetes, mental health issues, um, all kinds of different um, illnesses, chronic illnesses, everything. And they're doing a holiday card drive to where um, you can send in cards and they're going to deliver them to McLeon Hospital in Massachusetts. And they're going to send them, they're going to deliver them, hand deliver them on Christmas Eve. And the patients that they're going to be giving the cards to are people that are struggling with mental illnesses and it's going to be children and adults both now a lot of people kind of don't like to acknowledge or talk about mental illnesses it makes a lot of people uncomfortable um i think that that's a lot to do with people don't understand it uh, and that's that's fine if you don't you know a lot of people have a hard time grasping things that they've never been through or had a loved one go through. Mental illness is um, much common, much more common, I'm sorry, than people realize. People suffer from day to day on different levels of men mental illnesses. And, um, you know, I posted that video last week about being positive and staying thankful and stuff. And I'm not gonna lie, the dang devil has been just trying to get at me ever since then. I have felt my roughest of roughs that I've felt in a long time and for the longest amount of time. Um, it, it's been rough and it's tried to bring me down and those things they, they get you mentally and a lot of these people go into these hospitals around Christmas time because um, their mental health will affect their physical health. It really all ties together. It can really bring a body down and um, you know I have for the most part found ways to help myself but some of these people need you know the little bit more and they have their own reasons for having to go in and you know everybody needs that pick me up but if you're in the hospital whether it be for physical illness or mental illness during the holidays it's going to be hard on anyone so if you go on the mighty's website and i'm going to post a link to the story with all the information they give you the address to send it to um, the cards too. You can hand make a card, you can buy a card, <coughs> sorry, or you can download cards. They have three templates of cards and I actually did all three. So there's one, there's the second one, a little cup of cocoa or whatever you want to be, and here is the third one. Now they don't have to be fancy. All I had was just some highlighters in my bag and some ink pens and that's all I used and I'm going to write some stuff inside. When you mail it to the Mighty, they screen them, make sure there's nothing inappropriate or something that might offend someone and then they deliver them to the hospital. And there's also different things. I saw a story where there's a little boy who was trying to get Christmas cards because he was going to be in the hospital. And if you don't want to mail it to these, this particular one, you know, do it for your local hospital. You know, the, go to the children's, you know, section, the children's hall, and hand out cards. Um, go to the Dollar Tree and buy like a trinket to put in it, and you know, do things to lift people up this holiday season. This just happens to be a free thing. You know, all you'd have to do is maybe pay for some stamps and envelopes, and um, you don't have to individually do them. You can just throw them in one big envelope, and the mighty will. Um, put them in envelopes and deliver them. Um, it just seemed like a really neat idea and like I said I'm going to post the link for it so that you can participate if you want to. 
uh, and that's it's just it's a, it's a really good idea to try and um, participate in things card drives whether it be local or not I just happened to see this one they had the templates I printed them and I'm halfway decorated them so I wanted to bring that out because I have been struggling this last week since that video that I posted um, not about being thankful but be just my mental I've had a lot of people ask me if I'm like in a bad mood or something wrong and I really just don't feel good you know um, and it does that affect you mentally you know and um, I have my medicine that I got put on has not really been working it it's been uh, since April and I have an appointment with my doctor soon so I'm gonna speak to her I've got a list of things that have accumulated wrong with me since but uh, I just it's so hard to sit there and tell people you can do this, you can do that, you you can make a list, you can put sticky notes up, and then it's almost like the devil just came to attack me right after that. Like you're gonna, I'm gonna make you go back on that, and I'm not letting. And I've had a pretty rough week. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, I can get through this. Uh, there's a saying that I've seen posted on the internet quite a bit, and it's like it says you've survived. 100% of your worst days and I have I'm here I'm kicking and I'm gonna get through this flare that I've had for quite some time but just keep in mind you know it's just now the beginning of December you've still got a couple of weeks to where you can figure something out if you decide to do this one from the mighty the cutoff is the 15th it needs to be posted by post hmm, post marked by the 15th so that they can um, sort through them and then get them delivered to the hospital. Uh, do your local hospital, um, your local shelter, you know, all these people, you don't know their struggles, you don't know their story, and the smallest thing can lift them up. Um, volunteer for the Salvation Army, you know, the people that ring bells at the door. Y you know, these are things that you can do for free. I know that um, so many of us are tied on money the holiday season. So, you know, just because you don't have the money to give doesn't mean you can't give. Give your time. If you don't have time, give a card. It's so simple. Um, keep your head up. You know, it, for me, the holidays are always just something to, you know, I get excited. I love lights. I love the music. I love the vibe. It all just gets me going. But for a lot of people, it's a lot harder. Um, so if you can do anything that might build somebody up, you, you know, you, you should try to do that. Um, this video has been kind of rambly. Like I said, I don't feel my best. I'm sure you can tell I don't feel my best. Um, but this is just an idea I wanted to put out there for people with a link that you can try. Um, I'm going to look and see if I can find some other ones to put in for maybe different other things, children's hospitals or something like that. And I'm going to attach it as well. So... I just want y'all to have a uplifting holiday and I hope you can do the same for others. So thanks for listening. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know and please participate in a card drive or some type of volunteer work this holiday. Thank you.